Hi, and welcome back to this channel. Let's continue our discussion on while loop structures. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to develop a number guessing game using a flag control while loop. So a flag control while loop is another form that a while loop can take. So the game that we are going to develop must be able to prompt the user to guess the number that will be randomly generated by the program. But before that, let's briefly talk about flag control while loops. Actually, a flag control while loop is a loop that uses a Boolean variable to control the flow of execution of the loop. And that Boolean variable is then called in programming terms, a flag variable. The code that you can see on the screen here is a typical example of a flag control while loop statement. What we can note in this code is that the loop control variable here is a variable of type Boolean. And as I said, that Boolean variable is what we call in programming a flag variable. And down here, the loop condition is going to be used to test the flag variable. And if this loop condition is evaluated to true, then these action statements will execute. In the body of our loop, we also have an if statement down here. And that if statement is being used to update the value of our loop control variable. The value of the loop control variable is going to be updated whenever the condition of this if statement evaluates to true. So now let's run this portion of code and see what happens. So as you can see here, we are having all these values here based on this action statement we specified here. So let me delete this portion of code and then we are going to start developing our number guessing game. And as I said at the beginning, suppose that we want to have a game that randomly generates an integer number greater than zero and less than 100. And that game must be able to prompt the user to guess the randomly generated number. And let's say, for example, that if the user guesses the number correctly, then the program will print out a specific message. But if the number guessed by the user is not correct, the program will check to see if the number guessed is greater or less than the random number. If the number guessed is less than the random number, the program will print out a message saying that the number guessed by the user is less than the random number. But in case the number guessed by the user is greater than the random number, the program will print out another message saying that the number guessed by the user is greater than the random number. So the user will be prompted to guess that random number over and over again until he enters the correct number. So here is how the code of this game will look like. I will start by creating an input object since I'm going to use the keyboard as the primary source of input. So up here, I'm going to say static scanner. I will say com console. Yeah, new scanner system at in. All right, I need to import the scanner class. I'll say import like this. The next thing to do is to declare the various variables that I will use in this program. So the first variable will be the one used to store the number guessed by the user. And I will say integer guessed number. So guest number is the name of that variable. And I will say like this. The second variable will be used to store the random number generated by our program. And I will also say integer, and I will call this variable random number like this. Next, I need to initialize this variable random number. And since we say that we want the program to randomly generate the number, that's the reason why I'm going to use a predefined Java method called the random method. And that random method is part of uh, a Java class called the math class. So I will simply say random number like this, assignment statement int. So I'm putting that int here to make sure that the statement will return an integer value. And after that, I am going to say math like this, that random. So this is the class, open and close the bracket here, 100. All right. 
So next, I need to declare the loop control variable before writing my while loop statement. And as I mentioned, in this program, particularly, we are going to use a flag controlled while loop. So the loop control variable must be of type Boolean. So I will say Boolean. I will choose to call it flag variable like this. And I will initialize it by giving the value false. Now I can write my while statement. So I will say while. So since this is a flag controlled while loop statement, I'm going to test the flag control, the flag variable. So that's a while flag variable like this. I will use the curly braces. The first action statement must prompt the user to enter a number. So I will say system that out that print line like this. And in here, I'm going to write a string. I will say enter an integer greater than zero and less, sorry, and less than 100. So that's it. The next action statement will be that input statement that will allow the user to actually key in the values from his keyboard. So I will say guest number, that's the variable, assignment statement. And here I'm going to say, this is my input object console, next int, that's a predefined method. Next int because the values that the user is, is going to key in are going to be of type integers. After that, I need to write an if statement. That if statement is going to update the flag variable in case a certain condition is met. So I would say if, and in the condition here, I will uh, compare, I will say guest number is equal to random number. In the curly braces here, I will say system that out that print line. So this is the, the case where the number that the user has guessed is equal to the number that was randomly generated by the program. So I will say, congratulations, you guessed the correct number, semicolon like this. And because the user has been able to guess the correct number, now I need to update the value of the flag variable. And uh, when I update that value, it's going to stop the execution of the while loop. So I will say true here, because you remember that we initialized it by giving it the value false up here. So here I need to give it the value true. Now the next thing I will do is to add an else if statement. So that would be if the guest number is less than the random number, I need to output a certain message. So here the message is going to be system that out that print line. And um, I'm going to put my string here I say the number you guessed is less, less than the random number. So the last statement will be the else statement. So else, and here I will say system that out that print line. So else, that means I will say the number you guessed is greater than the random number, semicolon. So that's it. So I'm going to add another statement. For example, I would just say here is just going to be a system that out that print line. And I would say, guess again. And I would do the same down here. And I would just say, guess again. So that's it. So once everything is set up correctly, you can now run your program and see what happens. So I will click on run. I have enter an integer greater than zero and less than 100. So I will say one, for example, press enter. And it says down here, the number you guessed is less than the random number. Enter, so now I have down here enter an integer greater than, yeah. So I will enter another 
value, I'll say 19. And as you can see, the number you guess is greater than the random number. I need to enter another integer. So I will say two. The number you enter is less than. So as you can see, it's going to repeat like this over and over again until you reach the randomly generated number. So I'm going to continue entering the numbers until I find the correct number. So here I will say 21, enter. Congratulations, you guessed the correct number. So the randomly generated number was the number 21. And as you can see, congratulations, you guessed the correct number. So I can't enter another number because as soon as the guessed number is equal to the random number, the while loop will stop executing. So that's why here I can enter another number. But when the guest number was different from uh, the random number, I was able to enter the other numbers until I could find the correct number. So guys, that was it concerning the flag control loop and how you can develop a number guessing game in Java. I hope this video was informative and please don't forget to like this video and also subscribe to this channel for more videos like this one. Let's meet in the next one.